Hey, what is up everyone? It's Spicy Sushi. So, uh, as per my last video, I said I wanted to go more into detail into my League Start ROG strat because ROG is going to be a main part of my strategy because I think there's a lot of potential with ROG this league. I think he's going to be stronger than he's ever been and that mainly is because there's just a large diversity of items that are sellable from him now. Uh, probably, I think, almost double the amount of uh, items as usual and that is because of some new builds and i have made a little cheat sheet here to go over that uh okay this is the raw guide i am going to add all of this to the raw guide i just have not updated it yet so it's all going to be there like tomorrow but this is basically the new stuff with rog if you haven't done rog before rog is really really good at making mana items he loves adding maximum mana and that is because max mana has very high tier like very high like item level requirements when you get to the very high tiers and when rog decides to reroll an item and pick the uh highest mods or, or like the best mods what he's saying is he's going to pick mods that are of the highest tier which a lot of the time is mana on prefix like he will be slamming mana non-stop and that is actually usually really annoying but actually this league that's very good because of archmage builds so there's like three new base types i'm going to be looking out for when i'm crafting with rog i don't like to do a reg x that it, like everyone always asks for a reg x i don't like to do a reg x with rog because uh you might miss out on items like normally i wouldn't really care about a fencer helmet i'll be honest like you would maybe reg x that out but, I mean, there's literally, it, it has 5% spell suppression, 78 max life, and some attributes right now. Like, if this is day one of the league, and he potentially could upgrade this, like, let's, okay, so I'll let him add a suffix here, and then he, uh, okay, well, he didn't do that there. All right, bad example. But anyway, there's potential that he could have been like, would you like me to upgrade these, uh, any of these mods and he could have hit like t3 suppression or t2 suppression and we could have crafted resistance and that could have been like a one divine helmet day one of the league right so i don't like reg xing i like looking through everything so it can be pretty annoying because the more bases that you need to look out for the more annoying it gets uh but you, you but basically these bases that i have here are ones that you want to focus on like even if it doesn't have like good mods you might want to buy it and go for it anyway. This is usually if it has like at least five modifiers on the item. If you don't have at least five mods on an item, even if it's a good base and it doesn't have good mods, it can be pretty annoying because you might spend half the craft uh, just trying to fill up one side of the item because you want to skip to the part of the craft where he starts re-rolling a part of the a part of the item. So when he's wanting to remove mods, it's actually bad because we don't want to remove mods right now. Now it's okay because we have five mods and now he's re-rolling. We have T2 life. Uh, we're, we're happy. Um, the prefixes don't really matter on the worm scales. So I'm just going to add. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's a, kind of an example of a craft. Obviously, these would be like worthless, but you know, that's kind of what I'm aiming for. So I, I would say try to look out for these new bases if, if, if they have at least five modifiers. Because there's so many different items that you can craft with ROG now, you're going to burn a lot of your artifacts if you're buying too many things. So I would say on, on a window, I would look for anything that looks good. Uh, this Topaz ring already looks really good. Look, look at that. It has mana. It has a life. It has strength. Uh, so this could potentially be a really, really good ring for Archmage. Um, I need him to like upgrade the mods, though. So we have Int, Lightning Res. Uh... Yeah, honestly, why not? Okay, you didn't give us anything, but you know. That's like what I'm looking out for. I, I would look through the window to see if there's anything that looks really good. If it doesn't, uh, you'll want to try to think of the bases that are good. Now, these are the new bases. The raw guide's going to go over the the other good bases, which is like helmets, evasion, evasion hybrid helmets. Like if there's a really high tier, like pig faced is a really high tier base, I would automatically pick that every time if it has at least five mods. Uh, any rings and belts that are good bases, like resistance rings. Same with boots, evasion, evasion hybrid, because uh, you're mainly just looking for, you know, spell suppression bases. You could do evasion energy shield bases, and that is because of Eldritch Battery is now going to be more popular than it has literally ever been, because they've removed, like, so many sources of reduced mana cost. Uh, no more on jewels, no more on flask. So a lot of people are going to be playing Eldritch Battery. 
And because of that, Sadist Garbs are going to be used by so many builds. So if you see a Sadist Garb, I would automatically choose that. Uh, you're looking for high evasion and high energy shield and suppression mainly. And then resistance. You actually don't really care about life. You, you don't actually even want life unless it's like T1. And that is because of the life mastery. Uh, most people are going to be using this. The 15% increase max life if no life mods are on the item. So if you slam like... 20 life or like 80 life you've actually kind of bricked it so you want to keep it like this unless you hit t1 life then it's okay so it's a little bit hard but if you make a good eldritch battery sadist it can sell for a lot of money uh, i would normally not care about chests because the problem with crafting a chest with rog is that it doesn't you know you, 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 it's gonna the person has to six link it uh which is kind of a struggle so that's why i would like only do sadists um, and I wouldn't care too much about any other base. It's just because Sadus is going to be so sought after. Battered Foil for Cock, Detonate Dead. You want Attack Speed, Crit, Crit Multi. You need those three suffixes. If you don't get those three suffixes at like high tiers, it's kind of bricked. Uh, because the main draw of ROG is that you can make all three of these <clears throat> without a fractured base. God, that was a horrible voice crack. You can get all three of these without a fractured base. Most people are going to have to use a fracture. And then you can actually craft fire damage uh, veiled on the prefix. Or like fire damage at fire as extra chaos. I'll have to check if if uh, which one they prefer. But either way. Or you could just like... If you actually get triple T1 suffixes. I would honestly maybe uh, lock suffixes for a wild bristle matron. And then use a veiled orb. It depends on the prices to get like fire damage and then craft like fire is chaos potentially um and then citrine amulets are going to be very sought after i would craft on every citrine amulet you get no matter what because archmage and dd wants a citrine amulet or self-cast dd you're we're going to want cast speed and then uh archmage is going to want cast speed so cast speed is really important then there's life uh mana for archmage attributes resistance rings Amethyst rings for Archmage. I mean, most rings will work, but Amethyst are going to be sought after by everyone. I mean, you should automatically already be picking an Amethyst ring anyway from Rog, but you're going to want life, mana, resistances. Ideally, you don't actually get mana from Rog himself. Like, maybe Rog gives you life and res. He's probably going to give you mana a lot of the time, though. Rog loves slamming mana, but if you don't slam mana, it's the best craft because you can craft uh, damage taken recouped as mana, the, the hybrid mana veiled craft. You will unlock from uh, Veiled Prefix Rings. And then uh, Profane Wand is going to be an auto pickup for me because Archmage players love cast speed. Uh, and then mana is equal to spell damage when it comes to value. So that's basically it. And yeah, so these are like the new bases. I have not mentioned the fact that uh, they're like evasion armor hybrid gear has become much more valuable. That's because DD uses like almost no unique items for a long time you we're just going to be using a ton of rares same with cock dd uh so there's going to be a lot of demand for good rare items league starts where it's just lightning arrow is like the only popular league starter it's not great for rog even though you could make a really good bow they use a lot of uniques like like a high res and they usually use uniques for their rings um their amulet so there's really just like not a whole lot of rog potential there but uh leagues like this where archmage players are mainly using mana life rares uh dd players are are mostly just using evasion armor hybrid rares and eldritch battery is super popular now so you could even go like if, if you find an evasion es base of any type and it looks really really good already and you craft and finish it it's going to hold more value than probably it ever has because this league, people really want uh, to get good ES. Like, for me, I really need, like, 1k ES on my DD build. Um, obviously, I'm only level, like, 60-something right now, so I can't get that. But I have to use enough evasion, I mean, enough evasion ES bases to get to that point. So, you know, I have a, like, I really need that from ROG as well. And it's really easy to fit in ROG. Uh, even if you don't, like, typically what you do is like what I do is I just go to trade and then I type in like chalice. I just type in chalice and then I go to um, miscellaneous filters and I do 
minimum I'm level 75 is how I get my ROG books early. And usually they're like 20 chaos, uh, 20 to 25. That's how I usually farm ROG. But ROG is really, e but you know, the prices might be really high this league. So that's why I would recommend probably just trying to farm them in maps. Um, uh, if if they're like 30 to 40 C, I don't think it's worth buying ROG at that. I mean, you will profit most likely uh, unless you're pretty new to ROG, then there's, there's a, there's a decent chance you'll make nothing, right? So I would probably just recommend farming them yourself if you want to do ROG. And you can plug in expeditions so easily on any atlas. Uh, just these points is all you need. And this is the blueprint. 41 points investment and you have 100% expedition chance, I believe. So really, really good. Anyone can have 100%, like basically an expedition in every single map that they do for these atlas points and you can like this is just a blueprint you can plug any other atlas strategy in with this and if you want to know like how to farm a, a rog book i have a very very like i have a 30 minute guide on exactly how i go through choosing a base how i go through crafting an item uh i do some example three example crafts i think and then also i actually go over exactly how to run a rog book early league so i do recommend checking out this video if you want to know how to and then obviously the Maxwell guide I'll have updated with the bases and the crafting process for every base with these added as well. So anyway, that's it, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I will see you at League Start if you want to come watch the ROG progression on Twitch. See you later.